Oh my God. Is this happening? Am I, is this real? Am I, am I in a reality? I didn't realize you guys would actually do it. There, there, there's just no way. Oh my God. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm, you, you guys did it. Uh, you guys actually did it. You guys helped me reach my goal. We're at 102 subscribers. There, that is, there is just no way. I never thought we'd make it here. Uh, legit guys, thank you guys so much for getting me to my goal. Like, I, I, I'm out of words. I'm, I just have nothing to say. Just a huge, huge shout out to everyone who helped me make it to my goal. Thank you guys so much. I, I just couldn't thank you enough. Did you guys help me reach my goal? Sometime this month, sometime, I just know, not, not, not sooner or later, just this, this month or next month, depending. We're gonna do one of the biggest projects I have ever done. We are gonna make Stormbreaker. And thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I, I can't believe it. But without further ado, let's just jump in to the intro. Hello everybody, welcome back to Out of the Mega channel. And today in this Out of Mega video, we're gonna go right back to the original videos. We're gonna make another cardboard lightsaber. This specific lightsaber hilt that we're gonna make, I'm gonna pop a little image right here. And this um, hilt comes from um, episodes or series that is called Lightsaber Visions. And I think this one is, I think the very first episode, episode that was shown in, and it, it looks pretty cool. I'm not really a fan of um, um, red blades, but we're gonna make it happen. So I'm gonna show you all the materials that you're gonna need for this build. Scissor. Hot glue, very, very important. Box cutter, cardboard, paint, paint brushes. Now, once you have all those materials, we're gonna get started with step one. So step one, you're gonna take your scissors and your um, paper towel and you're gonna cut it up. And you're gonna make an opening like this and this where you're gonna put your hilt in. You can, either use, you can use paper too, but for right now, I'm gonna use my hilt. That you're gonna put your hilt inside the tube. You're gonna grab your hot glue and you're gonna glue the um, seals up. You're gonna make it nice and tight so the thing will fall. Me, I like drawing where my cardboard pieces are gonna be. Now that's my, that, that, that's like what I do. So I don't like mess things up. You could do it your own type of way. You don't have to do it my way. It was just a, you know, it was just a, it, it was just a thought. All right, once you're done with step one, we're gonna move on to step two. And this is where I'm gonna show you guys the, the materials or the cardboard pieces that you're gonna put on your hilt. Okay, the beginning of step two, you're gonna take these very thin strip of cardboard pieces you're gonna to want to cut two because well my cardboard is like very thin so i'm gonna to have to stack these up to make it like to add more depth into the from like the top of my hill i'll show you guys in a bit another thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut another strip but it's gonna be a, a bit like wider or a, a, a bit more larger and this is the thing this is what the first step was and as you see me laying or drawing it out, I left a little bit of space because you're gonna leave a little gap of something like that. Because in the picture, that's how it is. I'm just following what the picture shows me. Another piece of cardboard you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out this specific shape. It may, it, it looks weird, I know, but I, I, uh, yeah, I just, this is the part of the guard for your hand. I think that's what it's called, but this is what you're gonna make and you're gonna put this um, along this piece. This is what your result is gonna be. Just giving you a little 360. You're almost done with part two. All we just need is we need to add this piece. This is the piece that is gonna be on the back of this. You wanna get this thing shape for this to plant right on there. This, this um, took me a while to get it uh, what it is, so I'm just gonna leave it right there so you guys can get the shape. And then once you guys have this, you're gonna wanna glue it onto the back. All right, once you glue that, it should look something like this. You might wanna put a little extra glue on the inside and outside just for reinforcement, just so it doesn't break off. All right, now you're all done with step two. Now it's time to move on to step three, the handle. Okay, for, for part three, you're gonna wanna cut out these four pieces of cardboard. Why? Because if you go back in the beginning of the video, you'll see a picture and right before, like for the um, handle, there was a box kind of piece and you can't really do much with cardboard. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how to like simply do that with these four, piece, four pieces of cardboard. This is gonna be your end results. Well, not end results, but it's gonna be your results for now. 
and it looks weird i know it's like big gaps so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna cut four thin um, strips and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in between the, the gaps and that's what's gonna create that box kind of texture once you added those four little strips it should look something like this as you can see like i said it looks like a box kind of shape which is what we're going for it feels kind of weird but once you start playing with this you're going to get used to it now another piece you're going to do is you're going to want to create this piece it's exactly like this one but this time you're going to put it in the back of it like this and and that's how you're going to add what you're also going to need is you're going to need three more strips again one is going to be used for the off and on switch and the other two is going to be the things that are going to hold it or your, your turn on turn off switch should look something like this and you're going to want to cut out these two little pieces so you can glue them onto these two ends this is what your um ignition switch will look like and you're going to attach it to this front piece here before we glue this piece on on the back we're actually going to cut a, you guys are going to cut another strip of this and you guys are going to add it to the bottom of this hilt and you're also going to create another box kind of shape this one's actually pretty easy you just place it down and then it's going to be really hard but you're going to have to bend it into a really pointy side like that and you're going to do it for all four sides to make it look like that box type shape just like this all right once you edit this piece at the bottom now what you're going to do is the grip see katanas have this triangle in the middle going down they use that for rope and See, we're using cardboard and only cardboard, so here's a technique I, I learned. You're gonna do this. All right, it, it looks complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. This is just for, um, it will, like, once you connect all of it, it will create um, the correct shape because all it just looks like it's half half of a tri or, yeah, triangle. You, you'll you see, but what, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add this to right here, as you can see, like this, and you're gonna add it all the way down. I'll show you guys in a bit. Now once you're done adding all the grips and the side of the piece, we are almost done with the light term. All we just have to do is we have to add this bottom piece. So after that, you're going to make two cardboard um, cutout. Make two square cardboards, just, just two. And then you're also going to create a like, very slim, just very slightly slimmer than the other two cardboard. Because this way you're going to make um, a box shape the bottom of this hill and you're gonna put a cover at the bottom and you're gonna cut a little hole you don't have to do a square i just kind of messed up on this but i can't go back so i'll show you how to create the box in a bit your box should come out like this this is where you're gonna have to put this on the bottom but before we do that we're gonna put a little bit of the design on it so the only design we're gonna put on this little box piece is we're gonna create this little piece right here and this piece you can just put it anywhere you want we're just gonna leave it like that once you're done with that, you can glue it at the bottom of your lightsaber. After you're done attaching the little box on the bottom of your hook, you're done. But <laughs> not just yet now. We're, I'm actually going to show you how to color this. You probably already know how to color, but I'm going to show you step by step which to color in. The only two paints you're really going to use is black and silver. And your paintbrush comes into place. Grab your, uh, grab your painting board. This is just cardboard for me, but as you can see, I used it very much recently. And I'm going to show you step by step what to paint. We're going to start with the color black first. So what you're going to color in, in black, is this piece here. Not this piece, this piece. The guard, do not paint this because it's going to be silver. This piece here, this, the whole, um, this whole piece here, do not color in these pieces because these will just stay white. And then color the inside of this box. Now after you're done coloring all the pieces in black, as you can see, now you're going to color in this piece uh, silver, this piece silver, this piece silver, this piece silver, and of course, this piece silver, and this one. Once you're done painting and waiting for it to dry, making sure that everything stays intact and nothing breaks, you are done. Now here is the final result. Boom! Honestly, this actually looks really cool. I actually made another katana, like lightsaber kind of thing. I same thing as this one as you can see I use the same technique as I did for this one look this one's slightly a bit taller just because of the design but like I said this one looks really cool the black the gray and the white it makes it really really good all right let's turn this bad boy on got the blade here let's put it in 
Ready? In three, wait. Now let's begin. That actually doesn't look that bad. Giving you a 360. It's not bad. It also has blasted reflection too. There we go. Clash up. Or lock up, sorry. It's depending on those two. This is a black def blaster deflection and so much more. So we're gonna deactivate this. Give it a second. There we go, take the blade out. And that is the end of the how to build tutorial. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I hope you guys like your new katana lightsaber because I very, I much, very, very like it. This one's elegant and, and cool looking. It gives me that like menacing kind of like dark side, you know? Click the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my new videos. Like I said, the new upcoming one is Stormbreak, you know, that big Thanos killing guy. Now, since we reached 100 subscribers, now my new goal is 200. And then once we reach that goal, then we get to 300, so on and so forth. As long as you guys like it, click that subscribe button. Like this video if you like it or dislike it if you dislike it. Comment down below what lightsaber you guys want me to build or any other props you guys want me to build out of cardboard. Thank you all and I'll see you guys later.